I'm Will Chair Jimmy, and I'm here today on a serious note to take our airline advocacy and awareness initiative to a new level. You know, I thought I'd share with you the complaint I filed last month against United Airlines with a copy to the DOT. You know, let me quickly summarize the three complaints, and I posted all of these on our website. Uh, the original complaint includes full documentation, including names, dates, receipts, advance notice, and pictures. I also took videos for the file. Complaint number one is that the onboard wheelchair was not compliant with the Air Carrier Access Act, the ACAA. Now, you may not know, airlines don't have to comply with the ADA, just the ACAA. And you may say, so what, who cares about the aisle chair? Well, someday, if the airlines actually provide an accessible lavatory, you couldn't even get there. I'm absolutely serious. This onboard wheelchair was totally non-functional. Now, I'm not talking about the flimsy jetway aisle chair you've all seen. I'm talking about the onboard wheelchair that's supposed to take you easily from your passenger seat to the lavatory. This chair needs to be sturdy and provide for maneuvering and transfers in the lavatory. You know, the ACAA, the law is very well written, very clear. So in my complaint, I listed nine areas that were not compliant, including no armrests, no ability to maneuver, no wheel locks, no restraint system, and footrests that were just badly designed and didn't work. On the flight, United actually set up the aisle chair. You know, I inspected it, I saw it was flimsy, badly designed, really a dangerous piece of equipment. You know, so even though I really wanted to go to the bathroom, <laughs> needed to go to the bathroom, I decided to remain in my seat. It was, it was just unsafe. Now, United, for, I suspect, legal implications, decided not to respond directly to this complaint. Complaint number two is that United denied my request to put my manual folding wheelchair in the onboard closet. Now, the ACAA, the law here is very clear. Carriers know that they must provide for storage of passenger wheelchairs on a first priority basis. Carriers know this, most wheelchair travelers know this, that it helps protect your wheelchair from damage when stored below in the baggage. United responded, stating that the closet was too small and that they had to stow their onboard chair in the closet and couldn't remove emergency equipment. Yeah, now this is really nonsense. In fact, there was plenty of room to store my folding wheelchair. But United simply chose to put its chair and first-class passenger suit coats in the closet, over passenger rights. And of course, United could have easily stored its chair elsewhere on the aircraft. This was just a clear violation of the Air Carrier Access Act. Complaint number three is a little frivolous and to my knowledge doesn't break any law, but it just goes to show that United really doesn't care too much about the disabled. United had inappropriately placed the universal wheelchair accessibility sign on a lavatory that was no more than two foot by three foot, six square feet at best. And you may not know, but an ADA restroom provides for 25 square feet. So clearly inappropriate signage that was not very respectful of the ADA or the disabled. Now, United did not resp respond to this complaint either. So here's the point. We must all be aware that despite the rhetoric of, of Boeing, United, the other airlines, and perhaps the DOT, they don't give a hoot about providing lavatory or other access to the disabled. You know, we must start by filing complaints again and again and again. You know, I posted my complaints online in the hopes that you too will file complaints. Perhaps just copy mine, edit it for your flight, sign it, and send it in. By the way, the DOT responded, and they said they would inquire, but, and I'll quote here, generally will pursue further enforcement action on the basis of a number of complaints from which it may infer a pattern or practice of discrimination, unquote. It would appear that they don't want facts, just volume. So please, start filing your complaints. You know, I know it's an uphill battle fighting against the airlines and the millions they spend with lobbies. We need to build a body. We need to bring about some change. You know, as Oprah would say, if not now, when? Roll on, America.